Titan One is a universal gaming accessory USB device that allows users to modify any USB controller on the PlayStation 3, 4, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. Thinking back to my childhood, I remember going over to friends' houses to play video games all the time. I owned a GameCube as a kid, and a lot of my friends had different consoles, such as the PlayStation 2, original Xbox, and Sega Dreamcast. Now, a major problem we had is that we didn't all own the same consoles, so we always had a limited number of controllers. And I always wished that there was a device that would allow us to be able to use my GameCube controller to play PS2 games and vice versa. Now, the Titan 1 is an answer to that problem, well, except for the present gaming generation. Now, the Titan 1 is a USB device that allows you to play any USB controller or even wireless with the correct dongle. You can also sync Wiimotes, Wii U Pro controllers, and PlayStation 3 controllers if you have a Bluetooth adapter as well. Now, the USB device itself is a decent size. It's about the size of a regular USB thumb drive, except it's a little bit thicker in the back since it has a USB in. It also has a one micro USB slot that's used for programming, and a customizable LED light display that's used to tell the user the status of the connection. Now, the micro USB slot is used to connect the Titan 1 to the PC software that will be needed in order to activate and authorize the device for the first time. This PC software is called GTuner, and can be downloaded from the developer's website absolutely free. Now, this is the main hub for configuring and updating the Titan 1. From this software, you can use a variety of helpful tools, add-ons, and custom scripts that were made by the community that you can install on the device to have a much more customizable experience, such as remapping buttons, or even being able to play console first-person shooters with a keyboard and mouse. Now that is pretty cool. The Titan 1 does have some limitations though. Now, say for example, you want to play with an Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller on the PlayStation 4. The Titan 1 will have to reauthorize the controller you are using about every 10 minutes or so, according to my research. Now, this has been improved with a firmware update recently that speeds up the time to around 1 second for every 10 minutes. So, just pause the game every 10 minutes. Doesn't really sound like that much of an issue. Now, another example I have is in order to use a wireless 360 controller, I had to first plug in a wired controller in order to authorize the USB dongle that I normally use on my PC. A few small issues, but nothing too remotely annoying. Though I did have an issue when pl using a Wii U Pro controller with, on the PlayStation 3, as for some reason, when I was trying to control with the left analog stick, I would have a certain direction, probably around northwest, when using the left control stick, it would instead of like running in full motion, it would actually like slow the character down to a very slow walk, depending on the game. It was really annoying to have to avoid that uh, area of the left control stick, and I wasn't really able to determine what exactly the cause of the issue was, but I thought it might need to be mentioned. Overall, I was really surprised by how simple and yet very complex the Titan 1 can be. Now, I'm going to be honest, I really came into this mindset thinking that this was going to be a very, very painful and complex experience that I would need a lot of programming knowledge in order to actually use correctly. But thankfully, any casual user can just really plug and play their favorite controller into any modern generation console but also use the cust custom button mapping, keyboard support, and even recording button movements for gameplay. While this device does have a few small limitations on newer hardware, the device, I think, is still a highly recommended product. And I'm sure a lot of these issues will be fixed in the upcoming months with firmware updates. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or any review requests, you can email us at bitshifttv at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.